Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Do you want to know what is inside of this really slim and lightweight little bag? Hmm, the latest crossbow by EK Archery, Vlad the Impaler. <laughs> Let me show you its features. <laughs> yes, as you see, it's a complete crossbow and comes with quick loaders uh, that you can even put to the Picatinny rails left and right. The whole thing comes with two different throwing arms, a 60 pound and a 90 pound version. This is the 60 pound version. Um, it is made from mostly from metal and plastic. So all the parts that really require heavy duty construction, like the rear stock that also doubles as a cocking lever, but also the main body of the crossbow is all metal. Uh, I think it's aluminum. And yes, there's some plastic, so it's not getting too heavy, but all these parts that are in plastic are not under pressure and are therefore no problem. If you want to load it, it's very simple. You just press on these two buttons here, then you can lift up the entire uh, spring part and uh, just like on the seven shot adder magazine and then you can load in your arrows and as you see there is room for broadheads uh, the arrows are actually a little bit heavier than the typical pistol crossbow arrows they're the same size but the tips are longer and therefore they weigh 10 grams but you can also use all of the uh, optional bolts that are sold by companies like steambow including the razor sharp uh, hunting broadheads that we will use extensively in this video <laughs> Folding the stock is very easy. You simply lift it up a little bit like so and then you can swing it and it also locks in the other condition So lift it a little bit click lift it a little bit take. Unfortunately, you cannot shoot it in closed condition as this would be in the way as you see would be in the way of the string As I said the weapon is delivered with uh, two front ends one in 60 pound and one in 90 pounds That's very serious like I think it's even suitable to hunt small game, but not here in Germany anyway. <laughs> and they are also thinking about making a very light training one with a 30 pounds that I actually tested it and I love it because it's so easy to cock and it is really also easy on the bolts and on the targets. So this one is actually for having fun at this, uh, this with this thing in your backyard. That's really good. Basically, this thing is like a mini version of the adder. <laughs> uh, even though it only has like the power, only has the power of products like the Stinger. Uh, but the principle is the same. They want it to be possible to uh, completely disassemble this thing without any specific tools. So all you need is you just take an arrow and then you can take, you can just pull this little pin here, which is really like on an AR-15. Then you can swing open the entire magazine, like, you know, the hood of a car. And you can take out the front end, like so. And then you can service the string or you can just put in another one, a heavier one, whatever. And if you want to reattach, you simply put it back in, close the magazine and then press on the button and everything is ready. As I said, the magazine holds uh, eight bolts total. Um, if you want to cock it, it's very simple. You have this button here that actually locks the stock. And if you press it and hold it like here, you can clap it down and cocking it. I found it's best if you hold it here. It's very comfortable for your fingers and then simply cock it like so. Clack and then um, you're ready to shoot. There is an automatic safety that I find annoying. <laughs> How fast can I shoot with this thing? Well, pretty fast, even though um, I still have the annoying automatic safety. But I'll do three shots and see how quickly I can do that. <laughs> As you see, the Steamboat Broadheads also fit into the speed loader. Uh, I think the shafts are a little bit thinner, so I can squeeze in nine, not just eight. So again, uh, it holds nine shots, but the manufacturer recommends eight. <laughs> hmm. 
Of course, now people will ask, is this suitable for self-defense, home defense or hunting? Well, in fact, we have to find out. And therefore, what I've made is a typical block of ballistic gelatin <laughs> with a molten in coconut and artificial leather skin to simulate an opponent. May it be a zombie or may it be a deer. Okay, let's inspect the damage. Actually, since these are poking out, I hurt myself real bad while trying to lift this up and also there's a mean one underneath. These are so sharp, it was bleeding so hard that I actually had to use duct tape to reinforce the band-aid, otherwise the bleeding would not stop. <laughs> well, in any case, uh, you can clearly see that they penetrate really deeply through the ballistic gelatin. Um, and of course also through the leather skin and also they are firmly penetrated into the coconut. Um, coconut of course isn't really completely the same so this one here uh, penetrated way deeper than this one but this one also really hit it hard. As you can see, this one that didn't penetrate all the way into the coconut actually got bent and also the tip bent. <laughs> and I think that is just because the coconut is so super hard. For this purpose, you would, if you're really hunting zombies, probably prefer the hardened botkin tips that are also really sharp on the, on the tips. Uh, but they definitely have more penetration power into something hard. Whereas these are really super for soft targets. Now the obvious question is, how does the Vlad compare to the Stinger 2 Tactical, which is directly a rivaling product? Since it has the same power, you also get the 30, 60 and 90 pound bow limbs for this one. So performance in shooting is the same, but there are definitely differences and both have advantages and disadvantages. Let's begin with the optics. Well, both are good looking crossbows. But my personal taste moves a little bit to more towards the uh, Stinger 2. Maybe because of the AR-15 stock and the entire look. I just think this looks more red. That doesn't mean that this won't be more pretty in the eyes of some. <laughs> then let's talk about the advantages of the Vlad. I uh, like to take things more from the positive, optimistic side. So I'm talking about the advantages and not so much of the disadvantages. Clearly, I love the fact that you can dismantle it and put it in a very small bag. I mean, this is an ideal little crossbow to be put out and put in a bug out bag or something like that. So clearly, clearly, this is beautiful. I love the, uh, you know, standard locking stock. And I love the fact that you can so easily remove the front uh, end here. Also, I love that you can open it like this and then use speed loaders. That's also really practical. Um, I like the fact that it's actually very solid and there's a lot of metal in the construction. That's also nice. Um, I also kind of like this uh, four handle here, which really makes it also possible to shoot it like this. So you don't have to change your grip many times. That's also a great advantage. What I really love is that this thing here has a real crossbow lock. So this is not just one over like push over the edge uh, trigger systems that we find on many of the other uh, inexpensive pistol crossbows on the market. But this one is a real lock with the claw and everything. So much like on the adder, which of course is great for accuracy and trigger pull. That was just under five pounds. And now for comparison with the Stinger, both are 60 pound throwing arms. Okay, dry, 
fotografia. Bei 12 Pfund. It breaks at 12 points. Also, I love the fact that you get so many things in the package. So in Germany, it costs 319 euros, but that includes the 60 and the 90 pound limb. It includes the red dot side. Um, it includes uh, a second string. It uh, also includes a string changer. So it's really, really complete. You even get 16 bolts with it and one quick loader. So this is a complete set. All you need is an archery target and then the fun can begin. Then let's talk about the advantages of the Stinger 2. First of all, it's so light. It doesn't even weigh half of what Vlad uh, weighs. Vlad weighs about 2.2 kilograms and this one is about 1.1 kilograms. So it's really, really lightweight. I mean, this weighs in pounds as much as the other one weighs in kilos. Also, I like the fact that the rear shaft is actually adjustable. This is not the case with the Vlad. The Vlad is a fixed system, while this is freely adjustable, just like on an AR-15. Also, I think it is easier to cock it. I really have to say, I find it much easier than on the, on the Vlad with the same kind of front end. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe that just the dimensions of the levers are better, uh, or maybe it's even it's more comfortable to hold it here and here instead of on the you know setup like on the Vlad. But I find it a lot easier. I also have to say that I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I'm more accurate with the Stinger than with the Vlad. It doesn't mean that the Vlad isn't really accurate enough. Um, none of these pistol crossbows are really truly accurate. They are for short distances and they're not pinpoint accurate with these little bolts. But I'm just hitting better with this, noticeably better with the Stinger 2. Uh, maybe it's also a design question, maybe they're gonna look into it, but I like it even more. Then I love the fact that here I can put on a scope. Why is a scope important? Well, because, you know, specifically if you if you want to exploit the limits of the reach of this weapon, like 30 meters distance, a, a scope is great. It's also fun and it also looks super cool. While you only get the lid with the mounted scope on it, so you can clap this open to load it, you only get this if you buy this from GoGun in Germany, in the US or in the UK. Otherwise, you cannot put a scope on here. You would have to put a red dot on here. I also love the fact that I have a long Picatinny rail down here. This means that I can exchange this against a bipod or I can actually use another bipod and, and clamp it to here. So I can have both. So this is also, I think it's, it gives you the flexibility that you do want. So what is my verdict on the Vlad? Well, <laughs> I, I'm actually super excited that we see one more, even more developed model of a repeating crossbow. Since I feel I started this whole trend and now we have so many choices and so many options. This is the second model that EK Archery brings to market and I think it hits the spot. It has many of the advantages of the adder. It looks super cool, performance is great. They put in a really valuable trigger system and for the price it actually comes fairly complete. Uh, so uh, I actually really like it and can recommend it. I hope you like this little Vlad test review comparison with the Stinger 2. Because that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye. <laughs>